everyone, I am Ricky and welcome to today's edition of The Mouse Bites. Now I know what you're saying, wait a minute, it has been a long time since we've had The Mouse Bites and yes, unfortunately that has been the case since there has not been any news about the Walt Disney World, Disneyland, Universal Orlando, or the Disney Cruise Line. But today I have big news that's going to impact potentially your Walt Disney World and Universal Orlando vacation. So let's get to the fun and welcome back to the Mouse Bites. I mean, hello, come on. This is exciting. I'm so happy that I at least have news that I can share with you all. So um, the Orange County Economic Recovery Task Force held a meeting yesterday to discuss some initial guidelines for reopening businesses in the central Florida area due to the coronavirus outbreak. Now, this task force shared details that provide potential look at what we might see when Walt Disney World and Universal Orlando Resort uh, theme parks, restaurants, and hotels reopen. Now keep in mind, these are initial guidelines. The theme parks themselves will also likely have additional measures put in place by them to protect both the guests and their cast members and team members. So what are things going to look like? Well, first of all, Disney and Universal theme park guidelines will include tape marking six feet apart in attraction queues, staff is to regularly wipe down surfaces at random, and in phase one and phase two, so there are multiple phases to the reopening of the state of Florida and of this area, uh, staff ages 65 or older are encouraged to stay at home. Now mandates in theme parks will include all employees must wear face masks, touchless hand sanitizer must be stationed at each ticketing entry and turnstile, and trust me, they should. Uh, touchless hand sanitizer should be found at each attraction, exit, and entrance. Temperature checks for staff will be done prior to their shift, and those with temperatures over 100.4 will not be allowed to enter the premises. Now, all employees with flu-like symptoms will be advised to stay home, and they will need to wipe down all railings and surfaces after each and every use. Now, phase one is supposed to be 50% capacity. Now, no word if that's 50% capacity of the theme park overall or of the attraction or what, but um, more details will come out with that soon, I'm sure. And phase two is 75% capacity. So let's talk about hotels. Now, hotels are gonna have different guidelines than the theme parks have. And again, this will be done in phases. So in phase one, housekeeping services will be limited and allow for limited guests and employee exposure. They will promote, if available, mobile check-in. And we all know that Walt Disney World does have mobile check-in, so you will most likely be utilizing that. Uh, housekeepers will only clean rooms upon request or when a guest departs. Um, they will allow employees to work from home if they are not playing a critical role in serving their hotel guests. They will only deliver room service to guest stores, so they will not bring it into your room any longer. Um, they will provide self-parking. Um, and overall, they will promote social distancing for guests and staff, staff and then they will recommend handless, san hand, touchless hand sanitizers, not handless, touchless hand sanitizers at the entry. Uh, increased cleaning uh, services and additional sanitation services will be found throughout. Um, and phase one and phase two, again, staff ages 65 and older are encouraged to stay at home. Now, hotel mandates will also include that all employees will be required to wear a face mask. Hand sanitizer at the entry is supposed to be available in plain sight. All employees with flu-like symptoms will be advised to stay home. The front desk uh, will need to sanitize themselves on a regular basis, so those cast members. Uh, consistent cleaning of all guest areas. The front desk will also need to utilize sneeze guards. Um, remove all service items in guest hotel rooms, including glassware, coffee cups, etc. Now, I assume that this means if um, it is like, you know, the, the reusable kind, uh, you know, actual glasses or actual coffee cups. I'm assuming that if it's like a plastic cup or something like that, they will still probably be able to put those in hotel rooms since they can be thrown away very easily. Um, mini bars are not to be stocked. Uh, do not offer self food services. So uh, one would assume this would mean uh, things like buffets moving forward. We'll see what happens there. Uh, space pool furniture according to distancing guidelines. Pool gates and pool chairs are to be sanitized regularly. Uh, door handles, elevator buttons, and railings are also to be sanitized regularly. Again, thank goodness. I think this is these are things that should have been done before all this, but um, 
probably weren't. Uh, remove all coffee makers from guest rooms. Now I know that this has been a big sticking point with a lot of people, um, but again, this will be a temporary measure uh, for people. So, you know, if it's keeping us safe, then, and I'm a big coffee fiend, uh, you know, I understand the need to remove the coffee makers from the rooms. Uh, remove all guest collateral items, except those that are single use. Sanitize guest keys before and after each use. Sanitize the bell carts after each use. And in phase one and phase two, there will be no conferences that can happen in the hotels. So just keep that in mind. Um, again, they will promote social distancing for all guests and staff. Now let's move on to restaurants. Now, restaurant guidelines are as follows. They will need to have paper or disposable menus, encourage takeout and online orders. Um, again, I don't know how that's gonna work in the theme parks and things like that, but um, that's kind of what is encouraged uh, at other restaurants in the Orlando area. Uh, touchless sanitizer at entry, and in phase one and phase two, staff 65 years or older are encouraged to stay at home. Now, restaurant mandates are gonna be that hand sanitizer be found at every table, and hand, size, hand sanitizer is to be at the entry invisible site. All employees are required to wear a face mask, temperature checks for staff prior to their shift, and again, those with a temperature of 100.4 and 100 will not be allowed to enter the premises. All employees with flu-like symptoms will be advised to stay home. Doors are going to be need to be wiped down regularly. All staff behind counters must wear gloves except for bartenders, and bartenders are going to need to sanitize their hands after making each and every drink. Seated tables must be six feet apart. Phase one is going to limit capacity of the restaurant to 50%, and phase two is going to limit the restaurant capacity to 75%. Now again, these are just initial guidelines that have been set out by the Orlando Orange County Economic Recovery Task Force, um, and things could still and likely will continue to change. Uh, and uh, keep in mind that there is no current opening date for either the Walt Disney World Resort or the Disney or the Universal Orlando Resort um, that have been announced yet. So just keep that in mind. We will keep you in my, we will keep you updated. I guess I should say um, as these pieces of information get released. Again, uh, don't know when that's going to be, but. I promise you, I will make sure to let you know as soon as we find out. That's going to do it for all the news that I have for you today. Make sure you follow along with The Mouse for Less on all of our social sites. So you've got Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Pinterest. And otherwise, we'll see you the next time on The Mouse Bites. Hopefully it's not so long <laughs> in between times that you see me again. Have a great day, everyone.